Hello guys, welcome to my channel Pile Learning. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important yet one of the most underestimated concepts in Python programming. Variable scopes and namespace. However, instead of talking all theory to you, I thought of an exciting experiment that we can conduct to understand the concept of scopes and namespace in a much better way. We are going to experiment with our names. Now, we all have our official names, right? The names that are on government official documents, the name that we put on our resume, the name that we put on our uh, social media profiles, the name that other people uh, use to recognize us. However, we also have nicknames, the names that our parents have given us and they use it to call us at home or maybe uh, some name that your girlfriend or boyfriend has given you. So we have different types of names but it is for the same person, for us only. So, we are going to use the concept of different names for the same person and apply it in our Python programming to understand scope for variables that are named the same. And we will understand the concept in a much better way. So guys, let's go ahead and jump directly to our code editor. So the first thing that I'm going to do is declare a variable called name and assign it my official name. Lenin Mishra, L is capital, right. Now, at home, they call me a different name. They have a different nickname for me. I'm not going to tell you my nickname. It's a bit embarrassing. I'm going to use a different nickname. So here, what I can say is I can define a function called home. I'm not going to pass in any parameter inside it. And I'm going to say, declare another variable called as name again. And I'm going to call it Jordan right and i'm going to print the name now outside our function let's go ahead and call our home function and see what we get the result so if i run this code python prints jordan right so basically when we call the home function python is inside the home function here a variable is declared called name and is assigned the value jordan and then python prints it let's now go ahead and check what happens if I print name outside the function, right? So first we call our home function and then we print the name outside our function. So if I run this, you will see Python first prints Jordan, then it prints Lenin Mishra. So basically why does it happen? This happens because of something called global scope and local scope. What is global scope and local scope? Let's understand that first. To understand the concept of global and local scope, we first have to go ahead and discuss what a namespace is. What is a namespace? Namespace is basically a place where Python stores the variables. So basically every time you declare a variable in your Python code, Python stores those variables in the namespace. Every time you use those variables in your Python code in a statement or uh, any kind of expression, Python first goes ahead to the namespace searches for that variable and then uses it in your code. Now, unlike some other languages like C, C++, Java, you don't have to declare your variables way ahead in time in Python. You can directly declare your variable whenever you want and your variable comes into existence as soon as you assign a value to the variable. Now, Python uses the location of the assignment of the variable to associate it to a relevant namespace and therefore, finally, a relevant scope. Now how does Python do that? Let's go ahead and discuss this. So how to tell which one is global scope, which one is local scope. Remember one sh very small thing. Every time you declare a variable inside a function like this name equal to Jordan, you are basically declaring a variable in the local scope of the function, right? You, if, uh, uh, let's say, I comment this name out and if I try to print out name, Python will say name name is not defined. It's because the name variable that you have defined in the function is in the local scope of the function. So it will only work inside the function. Therefore, any variable declared inside a function is in the local scope. However, any variable declared outside a function normally in your code editor is in the global scope. So basically, when you declare a variable like this, name equal to Lenin Mishra outside a function, Python stores this variable name with the value assigned as Lenin Mishra in the global scope of the namespace. 
and the name equal to Jordan inside the home function, Python stores it as local scope in the namespace. And therefore, first when we call the home function, Python prints out Jordan. Then when I call uh, print name outside the home function, Python prints out Lenin Mishra. Now, let's say uh, uh, I say that no, I don't like my nickname Jordan. I only want to be known as Lenin Mishra. So what I can do is if I tell this to my parents at home. So the one way of doing that is I can remove this name equal to Jordan variable from the function. Now, if I go ahead and print this, Python is going to print Lenin Mishra both the times. So basically, when we call the home function, Python goes inside the home function. It does it's it the first statement it reads is print name. Now inside our function, we haven't declared any variable name. So Python then looks uh, it doesn't find the variable name in the local scope. So it looks in the global scope and finds a variable called name and therefore prints it out. So basically in the local scope when the variable is not defined Python is going to look at the global scope. Now let's look at the other way. What if I say that no I don't like Lenin Mishra. You know I like the name Jordan and I want to be called uh, Jordan both officially and at home. So what do I do? There are two ways to do it by the way. So first either I can go ahead and change this to Jordan change in my global variable name and I uh, from Lenin Mishra I change the value to Jordan and now if I print this Python is going to print Jordan both the times or I can use something called as the global keyword. What does global keyword do? Let me explain you. So for, let's go ahead and change it back to Lenin Mishra here. Now inside my home function what I can say is global name right let me run this function first and then we are going to discuss what global keyword does now when i do this when i run the code python again prints out jordan both the times why does it do so basically first i call the home function then inside the home function python c sees that a statement is declared called global name so basically i am saying use the global variable name uh, a global variable called name which is in the global scope of the namespace and then make changes to it whatever you want so when we use the global scope name here and we say name equal to jordan we assign it another value then the value of the variable name which is present in the global scope also changes so therefore when we print name here python first prints this name equal to jordan but outside the function also when we print name we uh, we have already changed the value of the global scope variable name to Jordan inside our function by using our global keyword. So therefore Python prints Jordan again. So this is basically uh, the functionality of global keyword. And honestly, uh, as a good practice, it is always suggested that you always use uh, uh, when you are uh, using variables from the global namespace uh, to, uh, you know, to not have any errors or not have any uh, uh, not have your code malfunction you always use the global keyword to uh, refer to any variable which you have declared in the global scope unless your variables in the uh, function is different for example if i call instead of name i say uh, name to then i don't need to do anything you know i don't have to declare global name or anything inside I can still say if I print this Python is still going to print Jordan and Lenin Mishra because my, my variables are different now. However, if you have to use the same variable name and you, uh, you want your code to exactly work the way you want, it is always suggested that you use the global uh, keyword inside your function to refer to the variables in the global scope. Now there is another keyword in the context of scope in Python which is called as the non-local. What is non-local? Non-local basically allows assignment of a variable which is in its outer scope yet not in the global scope. So basically it has to be in the scope which is outside of its uh, area, outside of its scope, but it should not be in the global scope. That means non-local scope can only be applied for nested functions. Let us go ahead to a code editor and I will show you what I mean. Let's now go ahead and experiment with the non-local keyword. Now what is this basically before we do anything let's first uh, let me first change these uh, names to name again the way we are using it. So basically 
non local keyword as i described before can only be used in the nested function let's go ahead and prove that first so here if i say name is equal to jordan and then i say non local name and now if i print this we are going to get a syntax error and it basically says no binding for non local name found why is what does it mean basically it basically means there should be an enclosing function that encloses the non local scope so basically and uh, when you are using a non local scope you are basically trying to refer to a variable outside the scope of the function but not in the global scope so basically it has to be in the middle and therefore it has to be a nested function so basically a function within a function let me show you what i mean basically so here my official name is lenin mishra my parents call me jordan however let me remove this print statement first also this one however my sister she calls me dude you know and i like that name honestly i like that name so inside my home function i can go ahead and define a function called sister and i'm going to assign the another variable i'm going to have another variable called name and i'm going to assign it the value dude right so now my idea is i actually like this name dude better than lenin mishra or jordan i actually want everyone to call me dude so what i'm going to do is my idea is if i call the sister function from within the home function then uh, i'm uh, python will automatically change the name jordan to the name dude so let's go ahead and see if that happens so here let i have come outside the sister function now i can say print the value of name currently is percentage s and then outside i can go ahead and put name here now i am going to call the sister function so basically uh, when we go inside the sister function uh, i have a variable name and it has a different value so i am assuming python is going to assign the name this value dude to the variable name right and now let's go ahead and print this name again so i'm going to say the name now is percentage s and then i can say name right so let's go ahead and run this code let's see what happens so wow this is weird right the value of name currently is jordan before we call the sister function and after calling jordan it is still jordan like so basically what happened is python went is inside the sister function so name equal to dude but didn't assign the value dude to our variable name equal to jordan here why is that it's basically it's because python didn't make the assignment operation python just got into the sister uh, function and then declared another variable in the name space a new variable called name with a different value assigned to it so basically it's not uh, operating or it's not assigning the name variable which is in the home function it created a new variable name which is in the sister function and with a different value dude so basically that's why the name value did not change now what i can do here is to change this if i want to change the name value here jordan remember from the definition of non local scope what does it mean non local scope is used to refer to a variable which is outside of the scope of the function but not in the global scope right so basically if i want uh, if i am in the sister function which is enclosed by this home function if i want to change the value of name equal to jordan to name equal to dude i have to use the non local keyword so here i can say non local and then name and now let's go ahead and run this again great so the value of name currently is jordan after we call the sister function the value uh, uh, the name now is dude so basically this is the use of using a non local keyword so basically this explains the different scopes that you can see in python now there are two built in functions in python that can help you look for different variables that are in the global scope and local scope in various places those two built in functions are called globals and locals now we are going to experiment with these two built in methods and you will see how convenient it is to use those uh, built in methods in your code every time you are confused about some variable so first let's go ahead and print 
the globals built-in method and then the locals built-in method now basically globals and locals built-in method is going to return you a dictionary remember this we are going to see it now but just to mention you it is going to return you a dictionary by the way now we are printing the globals and locals uh, locals built-in method we are calling these two built-in methods in the global scope right we are calling it outside of every function so let's go ahead and see what it returns now when i uh, run this code you will see we have two huge dictionaries here and basically if you go to the end you will see when we print globals built-in function we call the globals built-in function and we print it you will see name lenin mishra which makes sense because here in the global scope we have defined the name equal to lenin mishra however if i print locals built-in method i call the locals built-in method and i print it i again get the name equal to lenin mishra here but that's weird right because name lenin mishra is in the global scope it's not in the local scope why is it printing this so basically the reason is we are already in the global scope there is no other outer scope beyond the global scope of this file right like this is it so basically python is not able to distinguish between global scope and local scope when you are already in the global scope so therefore it is printing the same name both for globals and locals it is considering that variable name equal to lenin mishra for everything so that means this is it this is the global scope this is the local scope when you call the globals and locals built-in method function in the global scope because also the name equal to jordan which you have defined inside the function is only can only be accessed accessed inside the function right so here it can't be accessed here i can show you this if i if i remove it from here and if we print it here you know after name equal to jordan print globals and locals and now if i run this code you will see python first for the globals built-in method python again returns a big uh, dictionary and here we have name equal to lenin mishra which makes sense but in the local scope we have name equal to jordan because now python is calling the built-in function locals inside the function so it is able to access the variable name which is defined in the local scope of the function and therefore it is able to return you the correct local scope value well not uh, it is correct but it didn't re uh, return us any incorrect value earlier it just uh, was unable to differentiate between global and local for a variable which is already defined in the global scope right now if i print this globals and locals built-in methods inside our sister function after our name dude let's go ahead and see what happens so basically now the globals method is here so name again if we go check it at the end we'll see name lenin mishra this is in the global scope and then here name is equal to dude so basically the key is name value is dude and this is what it is inside the sister function this name equal to dude is in the local scope of the sister function this is what i told you right the reason when we didn't use the non-local name and uh, we printed uh, python didn't change the name of the variable of name inside the home function why is that because when python went inside the sister function instead of assigning a different value to the variable name inside home function it just created a new variable called name which was in the local scope of the sister function so that is why inside the sister function uh, the variable name with the value dude is in the local scope of the sister function and therefore python returns name dude when we uh, print the locals built-in method thank you guys for watching this video now i have tried my level best to explain you the concept of scopes and namespace using a funny experiment i hope you like the approach if you want to learn more about python please go through my youtube channel and see what uh, video suits you the best or interests you more thank you guys i will see you in the next tutorial